really proud of the kids, the way they fought back. Man, I felt like Penn State really hurt Penn State tonight. Um, just missed layups and just little things. I mean, if we shoot better from the free throw line, maybe the outcome's different. Uh, but they, they showed some guts, and they responded in huddles. They didn't quit. They kept battling. Played to the, the last turn. And, um, you know, obviously Blackman hits a, a, a tough shot. Contested three. Give him credit for that. But I, I think we can play a lot better. Um, and we will. We'll, we'll watch film tomorrow. And uh, we'll get some shooting in. And then we'll start pre preparing for Purdue. But it's a process. Long season. Long season. So can't dwell on this. Competed. Came back. Proud of this young group. They could have folded it in. They didn't. And uh, we're going to learn from it. We're going to get better, just like we did Michigan. Pat, two things. What were you looking to do defensively at the end? Was that what you wanted to do? Because it looked like you defended him fairly well. Um, not really. You know, I wanted um, I wanted to catch the ball deep, which he did. Uh, I wanted Josh to turn him a little bit. Uh, I think he just, I don't know if he tripped or what, whatever happened. Um, and then we were switching everything. And kid hit a tough shot. We, we knew exactly the play that we were run. We, we saw it in scouting. Uh, so we drew it up in the huddle. We, we knew it was coming. And, you know, it hits a tough shot, you know. You gave up 11 points off turnovers in the game, but seven, I think, of them came in that little spurt midway through the second half. How tough was that? Because that's when they pushed out. Yeah, even in the first half. I mean, we were playing our pace. We were doing some good things, and then they jumped us a little bit on some, you know, foul trouble killed us in the first half. I mean, we were playing a lineup I haven't played maybe since July. Um, but, you know, that just tells me i got to work on some things in practice for sure. Um, turnovers, timely turnovers, I would say. Timely offensive rebounds. And we've been doing a really good job of that. And we, we got to just keep working on it, you know. Got to keep working on the, the simple things in the game of basketball to help you compete. And we did that for stretches, uh, but we need it more consistently to beat a team like Indiana. It seemed like the fouls, uh, particularly to Mike, made you guys vulnerable in the middle. Did, did, did you see that kind of throw him off his game? Yeah, no, no question. I mean, for Mike Watkins to go on a game and only play 13 minutes, zero rebounds, foul trouble affected him. Um, we didn't have our rim protector in there. They shot, what, 50, almost 50% from two. So that, that's not a good formula. Uh, we got to do a much better job guarding the ball, number one. Uh, being in our gaps, and then uh, doing a better job chesting to make make the opposing team make tough twos. There were too many easy baskets. You mentioned the missed layups. You guys were shooting around 30% on twos at one point in the second half. Was that just in your mind due to luck? Because obviously things turned around the last five or six minutes or so. What was behind those? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, Tony had some good ones. Shep had a couple. Lamar, Josh. Pay, uh, uh, Mike Watkins, I, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Um, it was a physical game. It was a tough game. And two teams played really as hard as I've, I've seen all year. And this is going to be good for us because now we know with the elite teams in this league how we got to get better. You were talking about how well you were doing um, without really a big contribution from Shep Gardner. Uh, and you got that tonight, but you weren't able to finish off the game. Uh, but what does uh, his performance tonight say going forward about his confidence? Yeah, Shep's got to keep working. You know, it's not a crisp and clean 15, and Shep knows that. And, he, and he's going to keep, keep working. we got to find him some openings. He's getting the best defender on him um, every game. He's the top on everybody's scouting report, and he's just got to let the game come to him a little bit. I mean, he did a nice job tonight getting 15, but uh, I want a little bit more from, from a junior who's played significant minutes on both ends of the floor. Dealing with the foul trouble in the first half, what, what did you think of Tony's performance, kind of really getting to the basket as much as he did? Yeah, he willed us. He kept us in the game. Uh, it was great to see. Um, you know, we met the other day and just said, you know, I want to see a consistent effort and I want to see attack more, uh, whether that's scoring or passing, you know, making plays for others. Um, can't keep going sideline to sideline. So I felt like he did a pretty good job of that. I like to see him rebound a little bit more, playing the minutes that he's, you know, that he's going to play. Our, guard, our guards have to do a better job rebounding, and we'll do that, and we'll work on that, and we'll watch film. But Tony did a great job of keeping us in the game. What was your message to, to the team after the game, after losing a tough game like that? Because 
Tony and Shep came in here and seemed very level. They didn't seem as if they were overly emotional. I don't mean that in a critical way or, or a good way, but what was your message after the team? And how did you want to very, very simple. You know, proud of you. You know, you responded. You competed hard. Um, Penn State hurt Penn State tonight. And we're going to learn from this, and we're going to get better. And we're going to come back tomorrow morning. We're going to watch some films. We're going to shoot some free throws. And we're going to get ready for Purdue. But know that you're a really good team. You're a really good team. You can compete with anybody in this league. So let's make sure we understand that and conduct ourselves in that type of manner. It looked like uh, Terrence Samuel gave you guys a boost at the beginning of the game. What can you say about his play? Terrence played great. I need to find him more minutes, and I will. Uh, he needs more than 11 minutes. He had five rebounds. He brought some energy. He brought some juice. Um, you know, we're, we're going to we got to somehow increase his minutes from 11 to 15, 15 to 20 at some point. Um, because I can't keep playing some of these guys 30 plus minutes. It's a long season. You know, we're, for, we're done our first six, and you got 12 to go. So I got to be really smart with minutes. Coach, back here. So, uh, confidence with this group, you know, coming off a couple of big wins and then to the wire tonight to come back. Um, just talk about, you know, the confidence that you're seeing in these young guys. You know, Lamar on the line, seeing someone that's money. I mean, Tony last game sink. I know. Tony about. makes two. Lamar tonight, the, these young guys got the utmost confidence. They're unwavering. And, and it's awesome to see, and it should be great. Penn Staters should be fired up about what they're watching, what they're seeing, and, and what's what Penn State basketball is becoming. You got some really confident young men who take great pride in wearing the jersey, and take great pride in their university. And we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to compete, and they're only going to get better. Talk about what's next in that confidence going on the road, and what what these guys can do in competing. Yeah, you, you know, road. Uh, Road's been actually good to us. We played pretty good on the road. Um, hopefully, we have that road mentality and go out and compete versus Purdue. And we got nothing to lose, so let's let's go play our hearts out. Just curious as to what the mood was in the locker room just now. Yeah, it was total disappointment. <coughs> you know, we had a great opportunity in front of us um, to to have an impactful win, and we competed for sure. We competed for sure. Uh, and they made the last play. So give them credit, and we'll learn from it. Got plenty of games left. It's a process. And it's up, it's down. So we got to believe in that process and know we can get better. Do you see the guys still holding their heads up? Absolutely. 